Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday afternoon. Uh, did six hours stint at work this morning. Coming down the garden, enjoy the best of the sunny day. Kids and Leslie's away to the woods to uh, see what they can find. <laughs> Get them out in the sunshine. They're actually coming down here now and anyways, and they're going to do a bit of potting. Um, I've got potting on to do. We've got some flowers need potting on. I've got um, all sorts I need potting on. These uh, petunias need putting on here as well. There's little bits, bits and pieces that they can get on with. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to write a list of jobs to do, which I want to get done today, and get them done, and I'll inform you of them when I get started. So the next one of the tasks that I'm going to get on with is I'm going to start doing a couple of hanging baskets just with the petunias that I've got ready to go. So they're putting them on and doing it again, and I'm just going to go from here straight into the basket. My baskets last year were a dismal perspective display it's the reason why i've chosen petunias um to be able to pick the right plant for the hanging basket so i filled it up with it from fresh uh, humax compost and then what i've done the bag the outside you can put moss you can put grass you can do all sorts but at the moment i don't have that what i've got is the plastic sheeting from the outside of the compost bag so what i've done is pop that in cut it out put the fresh compost in and i've just cut holes on the side here and here it's just one on each side there just hung it up so it's easier for access and I'm going to take these just a couple at a time, shake them off and just place them, push them into there. So I've got my little helper Sky who's going to come out and sort this out and give us a hand. So as you can see, got a little tinker Sky here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by, uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do here and then Sky's going to do the rest. So like you say, all I've got is the hanging basket up. What I'm going to do is just go through, just push through. Make sure a parent makes the slits. Yep, make sure the parents, adults make slits on the in the comp on the in the sides. And I've got we cut me petunias here. I'll just get a couple. I'll just get a couple per per section. Try to keep the root hole intact as much as possible. It's good to get help sometimes. Just squish it into there, press it in firm so that the roots are all touching. I will have it. I'm determined to have a better display with the hanging baskets this year. Say by selecting the, the best plan for them, hopefully, I'll do well. I mean, they, these ones that have been left in the tray here have done much better than the ones that I transplanted into the singular pots last week or the week before. So that's the reason why I've wanted to put these in direct. So once they're in there, I'm going to get a couple for the top and just on the top, just make sure it's all pushed down. And just go around the top and in the middles middle of where i've put them in just push them down in there make sure that they're, they're, they're leaning over this way because the, these plants are going to hang over the top and make sure you saw them in the correct time now petunias i did notice that um dean roberts um is busy doing showing one um where you can buy a big bosch and basket fill it up with a bag of compost do exactly the same as what I've just done in here and um, put the put the petunias on and create a massive big bush of petunias and um, pretty much the same sort of principle as this if you um, if you head over over to Dean's uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube channel on then uh, YouTube account now. then you'll be able to see how he's doing with his one can water them in And I'm going to hang this outside. So there we go. One hanging basket done. So I'm going to leave Sky to complete the rest. We'll probably get a couple of more baskets out of these this tray. Um, so I'm just going to leave her to get on and do the rest. So in between all of the weeds in here, of course, is the chrysanthemums. I'm going to take more chrysanthemum cuttings today, including the the pink wings and the yellow coat here and the uh, John. Wing, uh, the John Wing field. So I'm going to take them cuttings that are ready to go and I'm going to pop them into these 20 cell seed trays and uh, once again I'm going to have to do this snap of the fingers because I don't have my me, uh, me trusty tripod this guy's using it. So after three, one, two, three. Well a bit of a change of scenery I brought these in uh, from the other side. Uh, as you can see here the next lot of cuttings I've got uh, some John Wingfield on here as well, they're the yellow spray, not the John Wingfield. So John Wingfield, pink wings, yellow courtier, 
bronze mini mums and pink mini mums as well just ones that i could take there's still some more that i could take uh, but i've got other things i want to be getting on with so these will be stopping inside let me change that over because that's not sure what's a yellow spray um but yep there's another set going i'll take it down to the bottom and i'll show you what i do with the ones that's a bit further progressed In the meantime here granddad dave's just popped over with some uh with some plants that he's purchased he bought some plants on the uh, internet and he ended up getting three times as much so i've uh, bought these off him to help him out so what i've got here is i've got some more of the um these are the more petunias so i've got petunias here i've got petunias here and i've got some more geraniums here as well so i've got plenty of geraniums to play with um total cost 18 pounds so 18 pounds for all of these there's uh 24 in each pot uh, i believe so i've got plenty to go with and these will be for the later hanging baskets as well might do these with uh in the washing basket that dave uh, the dean's uh, got going on but with time will tell but we'll see um i want to get make sure that all of these leaks are thrip free before popping them in the polytunnel um they're already as you can see it's already starting to make a difference already we're spraying them as previous you can see the thrip, thrip damage on here but the inner leaves they're coming through a lot cleaner so doing something right so you can see on this one as well the thrip on that one and all of a sudden it's clean 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 so i'll give these another spray as well um, and give everything else a water in here as well so let's take it down to the bottom greenhouse well, there we are here's the chrysanthemums as used to say on blue peter here's one up did earlier so pink wings are in here yellow court here are in there so there's the yellow court here it's like a little little go down effect there so if i just spin this around if i squeeze the bottom there see if we can lift the whole thing out as you can see there roots are coming through fantastic on them there they do need a drink and they are getting a bit tall you can put uh, you can put spray them with some uh, stuff that keeps the plants down but at the time being i'm just going to leave them what you can do also to promote more growth and um, more like more side shoots just nip the top off but i wouldn't do it this time these need to be potted up shortly which i will be doing once i get some more compost next week so jobs to do next week do them same with the pink wings here they'll be exactly the same i need a bit of a water in and these things here are the earlier ones that i took and as you can see in there the roots on them are really good i like seeing these pots with the roots on them and also you can see that's going to need staking up shortly and just like tomatoes with chrysanthemums they get side shoots on so you just want to be nipping them off because you don't want them creating more flower heads on the side especially when you're just going to be asking for one or two maybe it's three on the top so they'll be going back into there and these ones here as well I've got, I've got a fair few these are the earlier ones these are the yellow spray ones oh, that's the yellow spray one sorry so that's the yellow spray i've only got one of them i'm trying to be very careful with these ones uh, these ones are the yellow courtier so these are the yellow courtier they're going to need popping up as well so i'm doing well with these these will be going in the ground um i'll bear in mind i only got two plants two plants have produced all of these ones same with the ones at the back as well so I'm happy with the way they're turning out. Mini mums. So the mini mums that I got from Morrison's that you've just seen us take some fresh ones. They've got pink and I got bronze. These are well rooted. Uh, there's a couple of people asked for these. Uh, Chris Evans is one, and uh, he's asked for one of each. So I'm going to give him one of each. So I've got uh, the mini mums, the pink ones. I've got uh, the the bronze ones and i've got bronze ones there as well i've also got some yellow bush ones which actually i haven't taken any cuttings from on here they're up, up the top i've actually got a few ants in here so i'll have to get the ant stuff down but that's them in any case these cabbages need to go outside i'll put these cabbages outside of where the final planting positions are going to be and i'll cover over the top of them and um, i've got these sunflowers they're the four meter sunflowers Oop. fantastically high and um, i need to get them potted on there's the root system on them all huge and that's that's pretty much everything in here basically so i want to get uh once again get my list sorted out because there's a few things i need to pot up it's going to be very busy next week when i'm off uh so it's going to be probably a couple of videos put up through the week right time we get on with some other stuff when you've had enough you've had enough stuff becoming enjoyable so i'm going to just cool it off now i'm going to head home get cracked on tomorrow tomorrow's first task will be all of the pink spray chrysanthemums will be getting taken out of there and put it in the pots 
Uh, I'll have the rose uh, bucket uh, ready to go to put all them in so at least I can move them around. I'll probably put them down the back for uh, a nice flower display down the back of pink spray chrysanthemums. I'll have another bed there for the veg and stuff. What I've done is I've been in the, the greenhouse and in the top greenhouse here I've removed all apart from the Yorkshire Giants. The Yorkshire Giants will be staying in here for a little bit longer. I'm going to pop them in the buckets, uh, pop them up again. Of course, the ones uh, from last week, from what you've seen from the cauliflower, the turnips and the broccoli, they're all in there. means I've got plenty of space to put some more stuff in here. And also all of the stuff on this side as well. So I've got some more space, which is a great thing. And where I've put them leeks, which you notice they look tiny. They look tiny inside the shed of that greenhouse. I've put all the leeks in here now. So even the ones that aren't quite ready to go in the ground yet, these all need potting up still. Uh, which I'll be getting more compost on Wednesday, but I've got um, the Ellie's that are here. So these all the way to, so I've got three rows of Ellie's there. I'll just put that, I'll just stick that in there. So there Ellie's, there Ellie's, there Ellie's. These are Betty Black Leaks, different crimes, Betty Black Leaks, Betty Black Leaks. Different ones there, different ones there, and these are the Cumbrians at the back here. So I just decided to bring them in here in any ways, because like I say, they're all going to get sprayed for thrip in any case. So uh, I've got these ones in the three liter air pots, and I've also got uh, the ones in the flower pockets, which are a lot bigger than the ones. They're all from the same, they're all sown at the same time, so it just goes to show um, this for you pot on, and when it's ready to be asked to be put on, they'll be uh, they'll be absolutely fine. See, these ones that's there them ones they should be the same size as them ones but i haven't potted them up and you can see how far it's knocked it back and that's my mistake because i didn't have the compost at the time so no for better for next time round as well but got the all the leaks into the polytunnel and i've still got more to come now in here i can only fit 20 10 down one side and 10 down the other so what am I going to do with the rest of them? I'll tell you. They're going in them three beds. So I'm going to put them in them three beds. I'm going to make a structure just to go around them while they're outside. Um, so that uh, they, can, they can grow outside so I've got more space. Uh, but yeah, that's me sort of for today. I shall see you tomorrow morning before I head to work. I'll be down pretty much nearly every morning. Um, as uh, I'm working late for the rest of the week. Then next week, I've got the full week off. Yes. Apart from Monday. I need to go to work on Monday because there was no holidays available, which is a shame. But never mind. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday morning now. Um, I'll be here pretty much every morning. Um, tomorrow will be supply day. I'll be going to get some compost from the compost shop. Um, from the lotman shop. This morning, though, I've got a set task to do. I'm going to be thinning out the sweet corn. I've already potted up these sunflowers, as you can see behind me. So they're the, the giant ones, the tall ones in the 15 inch head from my own saved seed. Um, I'm also going to, got my sweet corn here, let's say. I'm going to thin out the sweet corn, because I don't need all of those. I'll have one per pot, which is a shame, because I don't like doing things like that, but it needs to be done. If I do it now, it's done. And the next task I'm going to do is to dig up the um, chrysanthemums, put them in pots and place them along the backside where the flower bed is and next door's garden. So that's what I've got to do today and I'll show you what I'm doing now in regards to the uh, sweet corn. So as you can see this is the swift that I sowed on the 5th of the 4th. It's doing really well. Now what I need to do is I need to thin them out. Now when I thin them out I want to pick the strongest looking plant. So for example there's one just coming through there. There's already one in the corner there so don't need that one anymore so I'll just pick it out that's that done. Fit the bullets so with one there, one there, one there, one there. There's one in the back there. I'll just lift that up, snap that off, snap that off. And I'll probably put that in a pot. You can probably pick these up and replace them, but like I say, I only want this many. I'll keep them two with spares because I've got a root system on them. This one here as well. This one here as well. can transplant them if you wish to do so. 
Yeah, I'll just leave them ones in there. Move that one across. One, two, three, four, five. one there one there one there and that's them all done so they will have 100 percent germination because i was cool enough to get them out so i'm going to get them water while they're down here and once that's done i'm on the next task so these will go back up on the top of the shelf until they're they fill out these roots these this cell tray sorry so, one task done this morning already. Next task, I'm gonna get these yellow coat here and pink wings. Sorry, look, they're all pink wings, sorry. So all of these are gonna be pink wings. Get all of these potted up in the plastic cups. Let's begin. And there we have 19 pink wings chrysanthemums potted into the the one uh, the pine pots so they'll probably stay in there until ready to plant out or i might just put them up later on depends on what happens um right on to the next task i'm going to go next door and i'm going to dig up all of them pink chrysanthemums over there now i admit it's the wrong time of year to be doing this because they're already grown but this bed is just wasted when it comes to these chrysanthemums on here so what i'm going to do is get the pots put them in the pots then just let them go i'm not fussed if they come back or not it, it, it's fine the pink ones i'm not too keen on i've got other ones ready to go as you've seen with them pink wings and also the yellow coat here which i can replace them with so let's get all of these dug up That's the last bed to go over. So they're all prepped. Just need to put some hem pellets in there. This one's dug over, needs rotivating. You can see that this, this bed is still moist. I've not watered this at all. Whereas these beds are bone dry. And all that's down to is the cover that's been on the top and mulch. You can put a cover down. It's blue swim. This is a swimming pool cover. Um, you can use all sorts of different things for mulching straw, obviously hay straw, um, bark on some instances, but you've got to be careful because anything in it, or conifers or anything like that can be acidic, um, so the plants are not like it. But it just makes a hell of a difference for keeping moisture in the beds as well, as you can tell by the way it's been broken up so large. Okay, I'm going to sort out all of these buckets, and I'm going to place them along the back, and that's another job done and dusted. Next task, once I've done that, is to start putting a row of beetroot just behind the sweet peas here. That's them down in the flower bed section. Another one there, 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 so on and so forth. All the way down, right away to the bottom. That's that job done. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the hole. I'm going to hoe down that side, all the, the weeds are. Then I'm going to hoe down that side there and start sprinkling in some uh, some beetroot. So back down where the sweet peas are, they have getting a touch of cold, but they should they're hardy enough to come back again. So there's just a bit of space down the front here, and there's actually a space at the back as well. But the back can be left for something else. What I'm going to do at the moment, I've got beetroot to put in. So I've got two different types of beetroot. I've got Detroit, and I've also got some bolt hardy as well 
to uh, that's a very popular variety now what I'm going to do here is I've already hoed across the top with my trusty Dutch hoe um, what I'm going to do is um, I've got a new little tool here the heart shaped hoe it's uh, not it's seen bad ideas but I got this from the mother-in-laws um, all I'm going to do is just create a trench down here not bother how straight it is to be honest uh, it will be later on like <laughs> There's a grub, no idea if it's good good for the soil or not, but the birds will be able to get that. Just pop on the top of there. So just so we little trusty hoo. So we'll read the packet. And on this packet, it says you can sew outdoors from April. So thinly in a separate beds, 30 centimetres, 12 inch apart, covered with one inch of soil. So I'll do exactly that and we'll see what comes of them. So, if you haven't seen what beetroot looks like, that's a beetroot seed. And with them, they can be multiples. So, you can get multiple beetroots from the one seed. So, let's begin and let's get these put in. There we have another job done. I'm not one really keen for sowing outside, but beetroots and things like that, they can be done, no problem. As you can see, I've got a bit of space at the back. It is going to be difficult to get in there. So what I'll do is I'll put something in the back there, which will be uh, longer, like a turnip or something like that. Um, so that when, I've got to bear in mind as well, of course the sun will only get to about two o'clock in the afternoon, then the sweet peas when they grow up, They'll stop the sun from the back so might have to put some that's a quick crop in the back of there but in the meantime the beetroots are in let's see how they go i've had a bit of bad germination when it comes to the peas on the other side so i may have to re-sow them again but uh, the carrots as well on the other side so the peas and carrots that's on them i'm getting very good germination on either of them so uh, i may have to just re-sow them very quickly as well but let's see what else i can get done this morning before i need to head to work well it's now time to go to work I thought I'd show you the one last thing that I've just knocked up before I leave. It's a, it's a trial, so we'll see how things go with it. So I'd already put the post in by the side. I still need to get two lengths to go across the top just to screw in the top so it doesn't collapse in on itself. But uh, I've just netted around there and the front section I can secure, put it down and sort that out because I can get some Velcro down there. Just Velcro it on. Idea got from uh, Mick Portley, Compost King. That's what he does with his stuff. So uh, that's that sorted for the carrots. I'll put uh, either two or three carrots in there. Uh, we'll see what things go. Might put one in the corner, one in the middle, and one in this corner. I don't know. We'll have to see. See what I feel like. I was thinking about putting four in actually, but it's two. It's going to be far too big. Um, so I might just put three in. Um, the other bed. I still got that one to do there. I'm going to do sort of exactly the same thing with this one, with that one. Not with them ones because they're just too big. But uh, today's time has run out. So time to go and get ready for work and getting a fair bit done today. I got what I wanted to do today um, done and also a little bit extra. So uh, motivation's there to get sorted for the rest of the week. So see how we progress over the next few days. I am going to get these cabbages in. These cabbages here are going to be staying in this bed. So when I get the, the feeds for the bottom before I put them in, I'll put them in. But you'll see that over the coming days. So I'll see you then. Morning, everybody. It's uh, Wednesday morning. Um, I've been down to the allotment shop to pick some goodies up. Uh, some goodies up, sorry. I needed some uh, fertilizers and stuff for putting the cabbages in. So what I've done this morning, I've been down there getting the stuff what I need. And uh, I've rotivated this bed over. Dug it, rotivated it. Put these pallet collars around. I'm going to have one giant cabbage in each one of these pallet collars and as you can see these three are ready to go out so I've dug the holes I'm gonna go and get the, the feeds now and stuff that need to be going goes in with them and I'm gonna start planting these up
So in these holes, I've put um, some 6X chicken manure, which is, ah, it's too heavy to lift over. <laughs> so I've put some 6X chicken manure. I've got some some blood fish and bone, some nutrient as well. Um, now what I'm gonna do is get the cabbages out, sprinkle them with some mycor, then pop them in the ground here and just fill in around the edges. Okay, so that's the holes dug, the holes fed. I've got uh, 6X hen pellets. I've got some nutrimates. I've got blood, fish and bone. That wagon wheel is for me to be fed. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so uh, in Vitax Q4 as well. So I've put all of them into there and I've got to get the cabbages out of them pots there now. And then I'll sprinkle them with a bit of my core, then pop them in the ground and cover them over. So I'm going to place this down and let's get this done in super quick fashion. And there we'll have the triplets out. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. And I've still got space for the fourth. So I've just fed the soil on there. I'll dig that in. And then when the other, the, the, the next biggest one's ready, it can go into there. So another cracking job getting sorted out. I'm gonna water these in now. Then uh, probably that'll be it. So let's see what we'll get on. Another day, another dollar. That's me heading to work now. So I'll catch you tomorrow morning for some more fun and games. I'll be planting out the carrots um, for the stump carrots tomorrow. That is the plan. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Morning guys, it's uh, Thursday morning now. And I tell you what, I take my hat off to all of those exhibition uh, growers uh, for the carrots. I take the time and uh, riddle everything and get everything prepared. Cause I tell you what, I spent an hour and a half riddling half a bag of compost this morning. <laughs> Trying to find the right method of doing it. Now a lot of people, um, shred the compost so it's right and fine um i've riddled it and i've got managed to go through three four different riddles just to get something that's fine enough to go through i'll show you about that now um so let's spin you around so what i've getting i've getting some seed modular clover professional compost i've up on the top i started getting a bad back so i'll put this tree on the top here i started off with a big one but everything just fell through it i put this this grid mesh over the top of that Everything fell through it. I then went next door and found this one. Everything started going through, but we're still getting some large bits on. Then I found this one, which is absolutely perfect. Apart from it's too small and there's a hole in it. So I've been out and see Grandad Dave and he's provided us with this. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's a cover for a fan. And all I've been doing getting the big one like that and the big one up there like that placing that over the top of there that's it there's a seed of modular don't want any bits in so just place that on there gently rotate it around now some of these are the larger bits they're just compost balls and just break them down. Don't want to push down on it because it'll push all the little bits through as well. Just one more. And I've been putting that into this bag to so separate them off. And with this, just riddling through, and then it's left with that fine compost. So that will be going into this bag. I've managed to get this bag full up, half full. It's nice and airy and fluffy. I'll be adding some mix, some stuff into that. Um, but as opposed to the stuff that I've riddled out so far, let's get a handful. As you can see, it's in it, lumpy. So from that to that. Now, I've worked out and I've calculated it. I'm doing half a bag, so it's 40 litres from there to there. And I've got a mix which I need to get sorted out, which I've got already stuff prepared 
through there which I'm going to put in and I'm going to mix it all together in this bag and I'll go and put it into the box of carrots down there so I'll see you down there so I've come across a few different bits of challenges just even trying to get this soil in and um, so I've every time I buy a the first hole I put this this guide which is basically a gutter in, a piece of gutter in over the hole, push it in, the sand fell in the hole, which I don't want to do because I don't want the sand to be, I don't want the sand to fill the hole up, I want the soil to fill the hole up. So, what I've been doing is just lightly over the top, just guiding it in, just gently, just so that the soil fills the hole up, not the sand. There's a whole point in the sand just to keep it shape. And that's that one done. Over the top. And that's one. And that's them done. I'm not expecting great things from these, but it's a trial, it's a test. I'm gonna see how I get on. I'll learn from my mistakes. But there's the first lot of compost in. over the top on the soil up then I'll get about to putting the, uh, the the carrots in so I'm using um, the stum carrots I am using the sweet candle um, which I've left at home I'll have to pop down tomorrow um, and pop these in um, but it gives plenty of time for the soil to warm up and also the soil to settle down as well um, but that's the carrot mix done and carrots in. Right, time to get on with the next tasks. I've got potting on to do, I've got all sorts of getting on with. I've got peas to put in next door again, because the peas didn't germinate. I'm, I bought some fresh ones yesterday. I'm gonna go and get them put in now. Then I get cracked on in the, the top green house here, potting up. Next task, the cabbages. I'm gonna get these potted up into the tray, into the big uh, rose pots with some Humamax compost, because these are ready to be potted on. So let's get them sorted out. That's the cabbage potted all up. They are looking a bit blue in that greenhouse. I think the cold might have touched them a bit, but I'll just put a sheet of netting over, a bit of netting over the top just to protect them a bit more. But they'll stay in the polytunnel here until I make room elsewhere for them. So these are the second batch. Give it a couple of weeks, these will all be ready to go out. And I'll put these out. Mixing in here, I'm gonna um, give everything a spray because the sun's gone in, so I'm going to give them all a spray with uh, some Dynamec and uh, hopefully that'll kill the bugs. Speaking of bugs, I need to show you something. The onions here, and I've inspected these, and as you can see, I've still got bugs on here. So I've been going through hand picking them all off, and I've given it a spray of Dynamec as well. It's had a good spray. I'm going to do a little review with that sprayer, because it's a fantastic sprayer does a job fantastically um, so I'm going to do a little review of that possibly next week um, I might start doing a few reviews of a few things uh, if that's somebody mentioned it it might be worth doing but um, hopefully I'll keep on getting on top of these because they need to be getting on top of the the middle the middle fly, flutes here they're coming up cleaner than what the outside ones were this is my fault didn't spray them enough lessons learned again thrips a nightmare trying to keep on top of um, but now with the flit sprayer that I've got, hopefully, let's see, I'll keep on top of this now and also come forward next year as well. Right, into the top greenhouse and I'll show you what's happening up there. Next job, Spanish tomatoes that I got off Jeff. Not last year. Yeah, anyway, it was last year. I got the seeds off them. Um, I've just put these ones in. I've got four from the second of the sixth of the second when I sowed them. They've already got the first truss on and there's the first flower coming off there. Now, I do normally like popping these on from these um, pots here into the big yellow bucket straight away. But at the moment, because uh, I like to pot them up a little bit higher, because the roots can come from the tomatoes down this way, um, from the stem, 
But for the time being, they're going at the two litre pots just so that they can push on a bit further because as you can see, they're getting a bit root bound towards the bottom. Just give them a bit of a, a head, basically give them a chance, basically. Um, on the insides here, I'm going to be taking off all of these what's called suckers from the middle because they produce new tomato plants. Later on, if you want to um, put them in a, when they get big enough, if you put them in a compost, they will root and you'll have new tomato plants. So there's a honey tip for you as well. But in the meantime, I'm going to pop these on here. They're already prepped, ready to go. Get this done. I've ended up just getting cracked on. Um, what I've done is I've put four of these Roma tomatoes on. Basically, the majority of stuff's just been potting on. I've also done, of course, them tomatoes are all done as well. Them Spanish ones are from Jeff's. Um, I've just stuck this bench on here, underneath here, just to put the rest of the chrysanthemum cuttings on, just so it's above the pipe, because it's still warm the pipe, of course. Um, everything else in here is coming along. Fantastic, these sunflowers are just jumping. They've just jumped. Now this was the same height as this one at the back here, just the other day. And this is the one from the 15 inch sunflower saved. This is the four meter one. So you can see they're already reaching for the sky already. Um, it's great to see. But I've got the other three at home which are germinated as well. So I've got lots of things to be potted on still. I've still got the, the leeks to pot on. These are the intermediate leeks. Um, which the lad who I got them off is actually putting his into the ground. That's how far behind I am with these because I haven't potted them up. Need to be potted on. It's compost, 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 compost. I haven't had no money for compost, so I couldn't put them on. But I am getting cracked now. I've already went through a whole bag of compost, just getting stuff sorted. I've got these Swedes and stuff to put on as well. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, and them carrots need to go out as well. But in the meantime, that's me sorted for what I could get done today. Once again, work beckons, so I'm going to head off out of work, get that sorted, then tomorrow morning, right down at work today, what I need to get done, which will be basically potting on leaks tomorrow. Um, I might even come down on Saturday night and do a, a live vid, um, because I need to get things potted on, and that's the only time I get to do it. So, I'll see you tomorrow and see what we'll get done tomorrow morning. Happy Friday! Good morning, everybody. It's... Um I'm down at home in the at home in the back garden. I'm starting to do a bit of a clear out. Uh, I'm also starting some the field pumpkins. Um, I'm going to set them set them away. I'll show you how I'm setting them away. Also show you everything else that's happening in here very quickly. So these are the field pumpkins I'm going to start attempting to to grow this year on two different varieties. I got from the European Giant Vegetable Growers Association um, pack, so EVGVA. Um, so the field pumpkin here. In this field pumpkin here. Now the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to pop it into this germination chamber, all ice cream pot, uh, some tissue paper on the bottom, that's that moist. I'm going to put them on one side, mark them up, that's that done. And I'm also going to put so these black sunflowers as well. So I'm going to put these sunflowers on this side and then cover them over with some wet tissue, damp tissue as well. I'm going to take them carrots down to the garden. I'm also going to take the cabbages down to the garden. Uh, Primo and Greyhound, I'm going to get them set away at the day as well. Um, as well as take all of the, the onions that's ready to go down. So these onions will be going down to the garden because I've got some potting on to do. And I'll be going after work tonight um, to do some potting on. As long as I've got enough compost that is. So I've got them to do. These to do. These pot on. These need potting on as well. I'll have to do them another time probably tomorrow night. Everything else has come along canny in here. I've got um, the, the cosmos flew up. The are not quite up yet, neither the polyanthus. I'm on a bit of bother germinating the polyanthus this year. Whether or not that's because I haven't put anything over the top, I don't know. The pumpkins, the normal pumpkins, I've got um, in here, which I already started off in the germination chamber. The marrows, as you can see, I started them off as well, so I know that they've rooted. And as you can see on this one here, it's starting to just throw its head up there. So I'll just cover that back over. In the back here, I've got giant beetroot, which are very late, but I've got a sown of them. Thank their stuff, Steve Martin. So thank you very much, Steve. Um, and also some giant swede. I've got giant swede there. I've got the pumpkins there. I've got Joe's long chili in there that I come along canny. That this is the um, swede, one of the swedes that I got off Dave last week. Potted it up straight away in a two-liter pot. And as you can see at the bottom, it's already starting to get roots on the bottom of the two-liter pot. So. They're going to have to be potted up shortly as well. It's all go at the minute. And Dean's lost the plot. Ellie's in the back there tall because uh, the lights haven't really done their job very well in here. At the top here, the sweet potato slips. None of them have died. 
fantastic. Nice and warm up here on the top of the sunshine. And we've also got the draft for the window as well. So they're doing all right at the minute. Just need to water them. Tall sunflowers. So I've got two or three of them up. This one will come up because it had germinated. Um, I've also got the long chili, the Thunder Mountain in there as well. Waiting for that coming through. Just put that over the top just for a bit more heat. And at the back there I've got seniors. So that's how things are at the minute. I've got some um, some show cabbage here as well. Some Brunswick, five of them germinated out of the pack that I got. But yeah, everything's come along all right. So I'm gonna go and take this stuff down to the garden, get prepared now, because I've only got this morning, and get cracked on. So I'm gonna sort this out now and head out of the garden. First things first, I'm gonna get these uh, carrots, sweet candle, pattern in here. And I'm gonna put a couple in each one, then I'll just remove the weakest, uh, weakest plant. So let's get started. So now they're in there, that's all that, that's that sorted out. I'm going to give them a sprinkle of water and I'm going to put this cover back over the top. Next task, I'm going to get on, I'm going to sow the cabbages, I'm going to sow the poblano heavy chilli and also I'm going to sow the bell peppers that I got off deal as well. So I'm going to get them sowed. What I'm going to do is put the cabbages into these pot, pots here the seed trays, sorry, just gonna sprinkle them over the top and when they're ready to prick out, I'll prick them out and pot them on. Done. I know I normally do them in 20s, but I'm just trying to work out for speed at the moment. So I'm gonna get the greyhound in, I'm gonna get the golden nacre in, and I'm also going to get the bell pepper sword and also the poblano sword within the same tray. So this is how it's gonna work out. So, greyhound there, the golden nacre in there, uh, the poblano and the bell pop are in there as well. So let's get this done. There we go. Another job done. This will be going somewhere in the back here, possibly. Um, on top top of that shelf until I get sorted out. Um, so I'm going to go and get the rest of the onions that I brought down and I'll show you them. I've got all the onions in here. Well, not all of them, still got some at home. Of course I've got the Bradley onions in here. I've got the Peter Glazebrook ones in here. These are the heavy ones. Um, I've got these heavy onions as well. That are, of course they're thrip damaged, but let's see I'm sorting them out. They, they, they're coming along all right. They're broken up, they've got a tall neck, um, which I'm pleased about. I've got these special exhibition onions here, which uh, are quality onions. I'll start off there. So these are the quality onions, five special ones that I've had uh, kept under wraps. I'm looking forward to see how these turn out. So these are going to get the special treatment. Um, I've also got some Billy Lamb heavy onions here as well, which I've brought from home. So they're coming on canny as well. And I've also got some, uh, some more Bradley onions here as well. Now these ones were sewn on Boxing Day. These are the Boxing Day sown of Bradley onions, as opposed to these ones, which were sown on the 21st. So these were sown of four days earlier. So as you can see, they need to put, they need to be potted. I've, I've messed up a little bit with the potting on stages, and um, left it a bit too late on some things. These need potting up straight away as soon as possible. They need uh, staking up as well. But yeah, the onions got plenty to choose from. Loads, of, loads of variety to choose from. Cross there and cross there. Granddad's, Granddad Dave is going to put a couple in his bed in his bed down there as well. So any spares that I've got, I'll be I'll, I'll be sharing them out. And also, uh, my Granddad's going to put a couple in as well. He says if they his get bigger than mine are and they look better than mine, he says he's going to show them. <laughs> so let's see how that progresses. Anyways, right, I'm going to have a look through these, see what I need to put on, and see what else I can get done this morning before I head to work. Right, now what I'm doing is I'm um, potting up the leeks that need to be potted up. As you can see, the root system on these Betty Black leeks is amazing. Time to get them potted up into the big buckets. So I'm going to get this sorted now and get these potted up while I've got a chance. I'm just hand selecting the best ones that I can see and potting them up so it saves on compost. The rest of them I will find um, not as big buckets, 
but I need to get them potted up from the two litres. So I'll see if I can find some uh, some larger pocket buckets. So I've worked out out of one bag of 60 litres, I can get eight pot tubs done. So I've started off, of course, with the Betty Black Leaks. These are all potted up. Now these will these will fill out no problem three or four weeks time. As soon as they're filled out, they'll be going straight in the bed. But in the meantime, of course, they'll be staying in the greenhouse here. I'm going to go through and I'm going to select which ones I want to keep. And that will help me determine which ones will be going in the ground and which ones will not be. Of course, the, all the ones at the top here, these ones will be going in. So the six at the back and the six at the front, these ones will be going in. So there's 12. Um, so that's one side filled up already. I want to be putting these Betty Black Leaks in, these ones here. And also the next ones that's ready as well, which do be these ones here as well. So I'll put these five up now as well, if I've got time. Um, then them, them ten, uh, I'll do another couple more, see which ones are all right. Um, then that'll be the ones that I select to go into the polytunnel. The other ones, I'll find space for them. I'll need to build outside, but the rest of them will get potted up as time goes by. Um, Ellie's as well, to see how they get on. But these will be the show leaks. So these will be the leaks I'll be taking for the shows. I'm putting it in the greenhouse, uh, putting in the polytunnel and see how they go on. These ones are kicking back fantastic. I need to start cleaning them off, to be quite honest. Um, and they'll be going in the ground, in this side, next week. Or this side, I don't know. I'll see which one's what, because I'll have to move some stuff around, of course. Lots to do next week. Lots done this week as well. That's time for today. At least I've been able to work out exactly what, um, how much compost I'm going to need going forward. I need to pop the onions on, which will be getting done probably Saturday night or Sunday, one of the two. Um, probably on Sunday, to be honest. I've re-sowed the peas because the peas didn't germinate. I've put them carrot stump carrots in, as you've seen. I've got them eight leeks potted up so far. I've brought all the onions down. They're ready. Some of them are ready to be potted up as well. So I'm starting to get there now. I am a couple of weeks behind, but never mind. I'm still there. I'm still living with the chance of um, getting everything ready on time. See how things go on. Exciting week next week as well. I'll be putting the onion house up next week, next Tuesday as well. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. After uh, tomorrow morning, I'm now heading to work. See you then. Morning, everybody. It's now Saturday morning. Another shift at work beckons. Um, I've got an hour before I head to work. One thing I have noticed, and I've mentioned this on this video as well, the size of these things. These four are massive, they're getting massive now, flying up. These ones, I need to check them actually. Hold on, let's have a look. Four meter ones I saved the seed from. Look at that. Roots flying up the bottom. So, first task I'm going to get done, I'm going to get these potted up into the big yellow buckets. Then that's that sort of should be for a good few weeks. So, I'm going to get on with that, and I'm going to bring the rest of the onions in and get everything prepped down in here because next week's a busy week. I'll be potting up next week, majority of the time. I'm off next week, I need potatoes in. I've got lots and lots of things to get sorted out for next week. So, for the meantime, let's get these bad boys potted up. That's them planted into the big yellow buckets. Just use some Humax compost and I've got some manure at the bottom of the bucket as well. So, uh, what I'm going to do is that this worked quite well last year. Soft plant uh, twist ties. Got these from the pound shop, you get six meters. They come in very handy for just supporting the sunflowers. Because what you can do, you can either support them from the stem, alternatively to the stick. Alternatively, you can wrap it around the, st the stick for support and wrap a little bit around the plant. That means it moves as well. Not too much so, but it is still supported. It helps with the, uh, the root system as well, because if you have it structured and stays still, then the roots for the anchoring, the thing, well, I'm all right. Whereas if it gives a bit of a wiggle, a bit of a move, then the roots will hunker down and bound to the compost, of course. So I'm going to support these now. I'm going to change these sticks over because I'm going to put them on the ground. I'm going to go down to the bottom greenhouse and they're going to stay in there for the time being. That's the sunflowers in here, in the buckets, sorted, ready to go. And as you can see, little plant ties there are very handy. I can adjust that. And I can also, um, when it gets bigger, of course, it make it a lot bigger. And also, there's freedom for the plant to move around. So, very, very handy. Now, one last thing before I go and carry on doing something else. These bamboo canes, just like tomatoes, are very, when you put them in for tomatoes, they're very dangerous. If you go down, you could end up catching your eye. Very, very dangerous. So, if you do know anybody that likes to drink the yogurt pots or anything like that, so things like this, little Yakult bottles, you can get other branded yogurt drinks. Very handy, even just little yoghurt pots, here we yoghurt pots, 
pop them over the top and there we go instant protection you can even put balls tennis balls on the top anything that will protect yourself always look after yourself when you're down the garden so that's them done that's m3 potted on time to bring the onions in and get the rest of the onions put into the middle greenhouse from the from home well that's at them um, i've put them onions on as well i need some uh, more sticks and support um and i have to do some selecting exactly what onions i want to keep granddad dave's going to put some in his garden as well he's going to have about 15. um he's sorting that out <laughs> i'm getting them in the middle as well right i'm going to shut off the work i'll see you tomorrow this is going to be a very long video this week sorry about it but that's just what i've getting done this week might split into two, I don't know. Right, well, I'll see you on I'll see you tomorrow. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Me and Kyle's down at the garden today, it's Sunday, and we've got our matching hats on, haven't we, Kyle? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> what we're gonna be planting today? Potatoes. We're gonna be planting potatoes today, and so me and Kyle's gonna we've worked out where we're gonna put them. Where we're gonna put them, Kyle? We're gonna put them in these beds here. But first we need to get the covers on, don't we, Kyle? So we're going to put the covers on, then we're going to do a super fast speed of putting the potatoes in the ground. And Kyle's got his bike in the car as well, he's going to have a bit of a play on his bike once we've done that. So I'm going to hand his, I'm going to, it's a balloon bike. It is, aye. So we're going to put use up on the stand and we're going to get cracked on and get these potatoes in. And it's got a bigger seat. <laughs> it's got a big seat. <laughs> right, let's get sorted out, Kyle, let's go. Okay, ready to go with the potatoes. So that's the ground sorted out. Ready to go with the covers on the top. I've got my blood fish and bone, and I've got my hen pellets on this side, and I've got my potatoes. Got Maris Piper, Desiree, and Petling Crown, I believe. Uh, get the. Oh, there it is there. Uh, yep, Petling Crown. So Desiree, Petling Crown, and Maris Piper. I'm going to get these in over the course of these three beds here. Yeah? So I'm gonna go and show you my handy little tool that I've got. And me and Kel's gonna put the potatoes in. So I have this tool here, which I've inherited. My potato planting tube, it's just like a big tube, bulb, bulb planter. So all I do, foot on, push all the way down. Then with two hands, I'll twist and lift it up. I'm gonna put you on top of there and show you. Gonna put foot down as far as it can go. Twist, twist, pull up. A little bit of blood fish and bone in the hole. A few hen pellets. Curve past daddy. Curve past daddy there. No, 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 no. Daddy touches that. That's daddy stuff. Come and pass daddy a potato. Yeah. No. Come pass daddy the potatoes. We want two potatoes in the hole, put them in that hole, one, two, good boy, and what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the soil at the top, sit, that, and there we go, first potato planted, right, we're going to get on with the rest of these and get them all put in. Last but not least is the Desiree potatoes. I'm gonna pop them in. Now I didn't show you before there. Of course these have been chitting, as you can see the eyes on the top. Now a lot of people just reduce them so that there's only one eye on the top. But to be quite honest, it doesn't make a difference. 
I'm going to put them in whole, just like I've done with the other two boxes. So I'm going to get the rest of them popped into there now. crop potatoes in oh back and legs hurting now <laughs> from the twisting um so i've got two rows of marrow's piper in there i've got two rows of pentland crown in there and i've got two rows of desiree in there so three rows sorted the reason why i didn't start at the top was because them three beds had potatoes and onions in last year and these ones didn't so i'm starting off the rotation of the beds from here so these are going to be in there i'll decide what i'm doing with these ones afterwards i've still got them ones which are cabbages cauliflowers will be going into there and get turnips and everything in here as well but i'll plan out when the time comes i've got a crop rotation to go through um so yeah getting there slowly but surely but that is me done for this week. Let me show you here, I've thinned out the carrots. So the carrots have been thinned out, as you can see. There's, uh, not, there's enough room for them to all grow in between each other. There's one there, so you don't want them that, that close, to be honest. So just get rid of one. I hate doing things like that, because you're just pulling out valuable seed, but it needs to be done. But that's them done. I'll give them a water before I leave. Well, Anyhow, that's me and little Kyle all finished. I've been very busy this week, as you've seen very long video i am going to edit it the best i can to bring it down a bit but in the meantime as you can tell lots and lots of things done this week the carrots in potatoes in the stump carrots sorted potting on to do with the leeks onions brought down granddad's getting himself sorted to get some uh, onions on the go and uh, still plenty to be getting on with as well to be potting on and also sowing seeds for the veg as well Yes, you've been drinking lots of water on this sunny day, Kyle. Yeah. So, thank you everybody for, watch, for watching this week. Thank you very much for yeah. watching. Hit the bell and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hit the bell and hit the subscribe button. That's right, Kyle. Well done. <laughs> Good lad, well done. So, yep, yeah, I'll see you all next week. Building the onion house up on Tuesday onwards. Um, I'll be on holiday next week, so I've got some, uh, some time off. Spend some time with these little kids, kitty wings, because I haven't seen them. I was very busy with work this week and last week as well, as you know. So there's lots of things to get sorted out in this top greenhouse as well. Get the onion, get the stock, getting the leeks in, get the onions in, just get a start basically. So look out for that next week. I've also started doing little tips and tricks, all so little bits and pieces that I find very useful around the garden. I'm doing small videos as a top tips uh, series. So if you just want to check that out, have a look on the playlist on my YouTube channel. And uh, look out for an up and coming video, because I've got something else that's happening as well. But look out for that. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, Kyle. Bye, Kyle. <laughs> Every time. <laughs>